Okay, um, five seconds now. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah. I uh, was inspired to do this because other people are doing it, and I thought it was cool, so I think I thought I would do it. Okay, um, I am the supreme ruler of time and space, and I snap my fingers like that, and everything is gone, and now I create society once again. I said, you had your run, it's my turn. <laughs> now I do things. Uh, we gotta make sure anti-analysing is off. It's wrong layer. Oh wait, I did the last one. Okay, that, okay, that makes sense. Alright, cool. Alright, so, um... This is all that I've ex explored. Everything else is gone. We don't know what it is. But I put down, like, a hundred people, and after a century, or a millennia, they grew and expanded and was able to explore all this. So some people, there might be some herds of people that are in Europe, and, and uh, in Arabia, and in Persia, but they're not very noteworthy right now. So here's, here's um, our tribe to deal with, our, our tribe right now. Actually, I'll set this fog board to it. Yeah, there we go. That's a bit nicer. So yeah, there's other things, but this is what our main focus is on right now. As by tradition, I'll make the first tribe red. They settle in the coasts of Egypt up here. And then they get uh, yeah, they connect with all the bodies of water. That's where all, that's where they hang out. Uh, if I had a terrain map, I would have a, the Nile. But yeah, they they would hang out around the Nile. So that's the Egyptian tribe. That's what they're doing. They're they're working out the farming thing. It's in progress. We're gonna figure out farming pretty soon. And perhaps after a century, we were probably pretty good with with farming. That's like, um, 1,010 years, um, that just went by, just like that, if you want to keep track. I, I think choice is good, so I'll, I'll leave it up to interpretation, a lot of things are to interpretation. But for, but for now, um, so a lot of time has gone by, and people are starting to develop themselves. A tribe over here, um, in Mesopotamia, gets a wind of this, and they start their own little thing. So you have like a little simmer going on, but it's, we don't call it simmer. Yeah, I got this little gang going. <laughs> They're having a fun time. So yeah, farming is, is a revelation. This is <laughs> crazy. People are, are enjoying this. They're having a lot of fun. They're um, learning new things. Red tribe doesn't really want to expand. They're, they're good as is. This blue tribe is a bit more willing to expand and will do so. So yeah, that will happen. They, they did that. Things were did. Um, tribe over here gets one of this. The Greeks, well, the Greek Confederation. Whatever or not they call themselves Greeks is up to interpretation once again. But they, they hang around around the coastline. They trade with each other. They're in the islands. They're everywhere. So you have this little confederation of Hellenic people um, trading with each other. Mm. 
Yeah, they trade on the coast, and that's about the extent of th their confederation. Uh, th these tribes did not really know each other very well, nor would they really care to. They're more just developing in themselves. Uh, a, a branch off of the Greeks forms um, over here in the Bosporus. I believe this is what, it, what this is called. They're on decent terms with the Greeks, although they wouldn't really, um, they wouldn't really fight for them per se. But they're on decent terms. They trade. They talk. They do things. And it's like this for a bit. This is the status quo. Things are alright <laughs> until the, um, the the Egyptians. Uh, they they think we'll travel down the Nile. We'll explore the Nile a bit. Once again, it'd be nicer to have a terrain map. I'll get that next time, maybe. All right. So we got this going. It's a nice little setup we have. So we got like trade going in uh, between tribes, um, these three kingdoms or three four-ish kingdoms. They are um, sort of like um, they're more like it's a toss-up between like a sort of commune where everybody does every it's where they have this like commune tribe like situation where they have like this um, interworking society where people. Um, work with each other and work together to get to achieve common goals between them. Or there's like, an, I think that would be kind of what's like over here and over de around here. Although Egypt is developing more of a monarchy where they have like this um, king or pharaoh and they're um, telling people like what to do and people seem to look up to him because uh, they seem to be like um, the experienced figure and that is what's going on down here in um, the Nile. Although this this society is rejected in the coasts over here, um, let me make this a black, but a, not black black. There we go. We have this dark color. These are pirates. These are guys who will take things and um, make things their own. They'll take things and claim them as their own. So yeah, they're around these coastlines down here, and up here, and whatever. <laughs> yeah, these are thieves. They, they'll take things. There might be some over here. Just because they have the same color does not make them, um... So, like, these guys over here, they would interact with these guys, but pirates would steal from pirates and whatnot. So, yeah, these guys would not know about these guys, and these guys would certainly not know about these guys. So yeah, they interact. They're stealing from other tribes. There might be some smaller petty tribes around the the Red Sea and up here in uh, this region around Israel and Lebanon. So you have all that going on. All right, so we're. Some time goes by. Um, the respected pharaoh is, um, he kills over, kicks the bucket. Then this new expansionist guy, he shows up. He, um, he claims more land for himself. He's up here now, he's around here. And people are, are okay with this. The, the king is better, but they'll tolerate this. It's not that bad. Not too deep, even. I'll have a little lighter red because they occupy this, but it's not like assimilated. There you go. 
that's a that's what life is like right now. Yeah, the Sinai Peninsula. Um, the population of each each of these regions is like twenty thousand, maybe. It's in the thousands. Nothing too crazy. Some more time that goes by, and the pirates are becoming a bit of an issue. It's like interrupting trade. And so, um, some people from the from the Greeks and um, Egypt, they, they they become more closer aligned with each other. And Sumer uh, or Mesopotamia, it's they're working together on to defeat the um, the pirates. But it's more, mainly an effort between the Greeks and the, and the Egyptians. And so the. Um, they colonize the region in a way, so Egypt takes this. I don't know how to put. I don't know how to explain what this would be. It's like a sort of like an occupation. Like the pirates did have some good stuff. We're gonna keep this for ourselves. And they they even they even had some tribes over here. They had some um they had some nice camp some nice camps over here. So we might just renovate those. So yeah, they take what the pirates had and make it an improve upon it. So yeah, they expand. Egypt and the, the Greeks, they, they have this going on. Alright, so this is like the main show right now. I think we're gonna have time for a spin-off. Um, up here, society learns a bit more about... Uh, About the the world. Oh yeah, wrong layer. Oh, yeah. I learned about the I learned about the Crimea a bit. All right. While that's going on, we might have a bit of a um a bit of a a sideshow, a bit of a um. I don't know, I forget the word. Over here in um, Bosnia, Croatia, around, around the Balkans, we have like a um, smaller, less advanced civilization. It's not vibrant enough, I feel. Alright, there we go. Wait, still not it. Okay, there we go. Something like this. We have like this little. Um, Almost nomadic nation. Nomadic in the style that is not very developed. So yeah, a very undeveloped kingdom right here. Very loosely united. But people seem to respect the king, and so they're they're doing things. Things are alright over here. Although this king dies, and um, the there is no heir, so the king just falls apart between the um, military leaders and the um, and the um, alleged uh, the alleged monarchs, like the people who claim to be like the um, the the uncle of the um, the king and whatnot. So you got that going on. We have. So, Definitely some more divisions, some more fragmentation. There's like a kingdom that has all the islands. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. So I think I might just fill this with white and So yeah, a lot more teams than the um, a lot more teams or tribes that appear in this world than does um, 
than I've seen in other word worlds. I just feel like it's a lot more fun to do it this way. Although it probably is becoming very difficult to handle. To which I say fair enough. So these are just undeveloped, like, basically little, um, little, uh, settlements with, um, a couple, a couple hundred people, led by one guy, which is moderately respected. Some of them might want to expand into one another, like this, this one would try to do that, take those islands, but they wouldn't really appreciate that, so they would retaliate and do that. So a lot of petty fighting, infighting with all these, all these kingdoms. I thought this one down here, um, it peacefully um, disintegrates and its um, successor or whatever decides to um, settle within lower parts of Italy, although it finds itself in contact with the pirates, to which they are semi-able to, it's like a little bit of a stalemate, although the pirates do have a bit of the upper end, uh, the, um, the edge over them, uh, over, the, um, over this, I don't know, Montenegro type of <laughs> nation. The pirates may have like better firepower, but they are a bit more organized, I feel. Alright, so time continues. Um, I don't know who would be. Um, I'll figure out who, who will be the, um, the, the one he knights, the, who he knights Bosnia. But for now, uh, these civilization, civilizations continue. Although the um, the dynasty in Egypt, um, the Egyptian dynasty, uh, completely uh, it falls. There is no more heirs, so a new dynasty is in power. New dynasty. Uh, they're less respected, but <laughs> they'll do. So we have like um, some monument some monuments being made. As society expands, Egypt is probably the most advanced, followed by Sumer, then the Greeks. And then followed by these guys and the pirates. Also, the, these Bosporus people are lumped in with the Greeks, despite them not being officially part of them. It's kind of like a branch off point, like I said. And I think that might be it for this, actually. So yeah, words. I can't do outros, so yeah, that's, that's this. I did 20 minutes of this.